this is a molecule of hydrogen peroxide H2O2 so we look this molecule from the front view from the side view and also from the top view like this or we can change like this so what we can see that all atoms are not on the same plane so this is not planar molecule and then we look at the two-dimensional H2O2 structure so we can see here thick bond between oxygen and hydrogen it means that the hydrogen atom out of the plane oxygen and oxygen here on the same plane but the hydrogen is out of the plane so that's why we put the bond as a thick bond out of the plane so now we are going to find out the symmetry element separation for this molecule when I look this molecule from the top view I can see that these two hydrogen atoms opposite each other so it means that we can rotate 180 degree through the C2 axis so we need to find out where is the C2 axis so the axis must be here the axis passing through the oxygen oxygen bond here so we try to rotate 180 degree through this axis we get the same configuration as before because the axis passing through the oxygen oxygen bond so we just label like a point here and label C2 and of course on the same axis we can rotate 360 degree and then we look at this molecule what we can perform after this we try to reflect this molecule so we need to find out the plane for the reflection all right so look from the top view I try to put the plane cutting through the oxygen oxygen bond here and I can see that this hydrogen atom reflect through this plane we don't get the same configuration so we try to find another plane so the plane cutting through here or maybe we can change the view like this so the plane cutting through here and we can see that the hydrogen reflect through this plane and again we don't get the same configuration and then let's say this plane cutting through all oxygen atoms and what we can see this hydrogen atom reflect through this plane the hydrogen atom will be reflect to the bottom so we don't get the same configuration so it means that this molecule has no plane for reflection so symmetry element separation for this molecule are identity c1 and C2. Last, we want to find out the point group for this molecule. So, we can see that this molecule has C2 and C1. So, our options are the point group can be CN or CNV or C and H or C infinity V. Alright, so our molecule is not linear. So that's why this is not the answer. And then this molecule has no plane. So we cannot choose this one and this one as well. So only this one. 
So, this H2O2 has C1 and also C2 main exist. So, that's why point group for this molecule is C2.